Trinity, which I asked to. So, last episode we came down here into the... That's not the map. That's the map. Into the Deerford Ruins, and we have two ways to go. We can go this way, or we can go this way. Uh, this way looks a little more interesting, actually. So, we're gonna go oh, ahead and head so. down here, and, uh, I'm gonna turn down my headphones because the game's very loud. I'm on the trail. Alright, we're gonna try and sneak up here. Okay, that's an uh, interesting thing. Oop. Nice and quiet. Not the button I wanted. Uh, okay, what is this? Two posts stand firmly on the stonework with <coughs> broken ropes falling into the dark chasm of a large cavern. On the other side, there's a slight opening where a bridge may have led. Inspect the area. The darkness below continues as far as you can see. Broken stone pillars, remnants of the missing bridge, rise from the abyss. Across the gap, you see the mouth of a tunnel. Wooden beams protrude from the stones on either side of the chasm. Despite their age, they look sturdy enough to hold a grappling hook and rope. Uh, well, let's try tossing a grap roping hook. And aim for the beams on the opposite side of the chasm and hurl your grappling hook across the gap. It snags on one of the beams, digging into the wood as you pull. With a couple of firm tugs, you determine that the connection is secure. You tie the free end of the rope to one of the beams next to you. Lost the gra rope and grappling hook. Let's shimmy across the chasm. The rope remains taut under your weight, but you feel the tension and vibration of every movement as you shimmy across. The groans and creaks of the wooden beams echo in the abyss. You keep your progress slow and steady. You reach the other side without incident. The rope still feels taut and secure. How, how exactly did uh, he get... Well, he's a fox. I guess he tight roped. Uh, that's five to quick save. Oh, I didn't. Yep. Okay. Hope I didn't accidentally just bump the recording button. Aha! Temple fanatic, no. come get oh. some. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mr. Wizard, can we get a fireball? Right in the middle there, please. Yeah. Um, you. Don't be a people. Be a giant lizard monster thing. And you. Um. Uh, bounding missile. Here we go. Fire at that guy. Yeah. Yeah, let's blast them good. Gain creature. There we go. Alright. I'm here. Everybody stack up. And we will uh find sword, find dagger, find headed armor. Just gain cultist robes that you can keep. Pistols. Hmm. I'm gonna take a go ahead and take the pistol and take the Zveth. Uh, we don't really need a morning star. Um, Hello. Let's come over here, just Hello. in case this is trapped. And okay, let's open the open it's it with done. some party lockpicks and right of the untamed wild. This, uh, plus three survival for 120 seconds. Well, that's kind of useless. Ooh, and we've placed our open grappling hook. All right, I'm gonna quick save again. Oops. Come down here, and we'll undoubtedly have to fight some more fanatics, but there don't seem to be any in this room. <coughs> uh, some sort of mushrooms. And this is... Skulls have been lashed to this wooden effigy. Well, that's useful. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Aha! Come get some. Whoa! Uh, a few more of those than I thought there were. Eh. Fan of Flames is not one we can use to much effect. Um, here, have some missiles. Ow. Okay, you need to get up here. Quick. And... Go ahead and... Blast those guys with some fire. And the fact that it managed to hit everybody else is kind of... Well, nope, stop. Do that again. Uh, you, 
Be a giant lizard person thing. There you go. Yes. Ow. Uh. This is deep wounds. Oh. Well, that's nasty. Uh. Uh, yeah, hit him. Yeah, there we go. Right, everybody's all dead. Excellent. Um, okay. And we basically killed the Temple of the Clowns, which is... Uh, go away. Yeah. Alright, so, quick save again, just because... Just because I prefer not to hello. Let's keep quiet. <coughs> Another open grappling hook. Interesting. Uh Hey. Come over here a second. Shh. Alright, and open that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Wow. Uh oh. Let's check our inventory here. Idrin dialects. The sun does not set on the Idrin language. Those of us who commune with this proud language or some derivative of it populate every corner of Aeora. Most of us who speak this wonderful tongue known as Adrian, but but scholars and know it is Adrian, but scholars and those obsessed with correctness often identify it, qualify it as modern or contemporary Adrian. Okay. You might. Wow, they put rather a lot of thought into all yes? of this. Uh, uh, this place seems to be pretty safe, so let's go ahead and make camp. And... Uh, <clears throat> How about some movement bonus instead, because we don't seem to be encountering a particularly large quantity of vessels. So we'll quick save again. <coughs> Head back over here, uh, through here, I think. But double time it, because, well, basically there's nothing here to bother us anymore. <coughs> and... Uh, click this, shimmy across the chasm. And we're done. Okay, so we're gonna quick save again, just, just in case. Uh, I'm kind of obsessive with quick saving, but I've started playing in an era Save where not quick saving was a terrible bad, a terribly bad idea. Yeah. Come on. Stomp him. Come on, go down quickly. Awesome. Now let's see if we can get into our next fight real quick. Can we? Aha! Yeah, unfortunately, um, Kane has already stopped chanting, so we'll go grab the stuff off of this clown. And then we'll go up here and fight this next clown. Aha! Two of them up here. One clown at a time, please. Uh, Aloth, uh, just basic missiles, if you please. Yes! <laughs> Aha! <coughs> yeah, I noticed. Excellent. So, got the gold. Um, grab everybody. Of course. <laughs> I like the fact that just Kanan just sort of skates along. Uh, unlock the old dungeon key. Uh, hmm. Let's go this way first. I'm willing to bet there's more enemies over here, and <coughs> frankly, I'm willing to also bet that that's the final room of this dungeon. Skein Mindbreaker. Kana, shoot him! Oh, okay, you shot that one. Uh, guys, can we shoot that guy instead? Ow. Why are you frontlining? Don't, and don't be a people. 
Here, be a huge cat monster. Yes. Come on, is there more enemies here? Ow. Brave does he love Alright. So let's everybody come over here. Um uh, Okay, everybody. On the hunt. Alright. Uh, net net net. And we'll grab those. Aha, there's something over here. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which is not very quiet. Carol Golan. It's Ah. More drugs. Okay, fair enough. Uh, wooden skulls on an effigy? Or skulls on a wooden effigy? Awesome. Uh, right. Okay, let's not... Okay. I'll stay out of sight. Yeah, let's try that. And... Whoop. Nope, stop. Um... Can hey. somebody else disarm this trap? Need something? Short guy. I'm uh, here. Crazy ranger lady. No, mm -hmm. I think we've already stepped on this trap, so. That's Ow. Uh uh, excuse me. Okay. You know what? Nuts to this. Let's take the damage and push on through and then hit this guy in the face with our weapons. Like, a lot. <coughs> and get some more stuff. I bet there's more guys in here. Yeah, there's more guys in here. Let's go kill some clowns. What are you using? Oh, okay. Collecting disease and poison. Well, that'll help. Like, not at all. There we go. Okay. Come on. Combat over. Um, do we mind? Yes? Uh, no. Just loot the bodies. Thank you. Take that, you keep that. Take all that stuff. Shh. I shall. Grab that, whatever it is. Uh this door and that door are the same lead to the same room, so let's go this way. I'll see what I can find. Let's get these guys. Grave <laughs> <clears throat> right, uh, you three, do you want to come over here and shoot that guy? Ah, apparently you can see him. Here, shoot him. Nope, we're reloading, that's useful. There we go. That's the only problem with uh, the gun that uh, Kane is using, is that it's so slow to get off a second shot. Uh, come Indeed. over here. Let's keep quiet. Uh-huh. Alright. Uh, get over here. This one. And... Boot. Potion of Major Recovery. Interesting. Alright. Uh, we're gonna quick save again. I shall. And down here... And another stone tablet with... Okay, more... Uh, Patreon mem uh, Kickstarter memorials. Cool. Nothing here. Uh, let's quick save again. Looks like... Um, wooden effigy with skulls? Effigies made of several crooked stacks tied together with rough twine. Cast 
It's an, excuse me, an ominous flickering shadow on the wall. It stares to where? Uh, right, stairs to another level. Alright. Well, let's uh, quick save. And I'll have this open in no time. I'll handle this. I'll handle this. I'll, ha I'll have this open in no time. Uh, I'll hand. I'll hand. I'll hand. I'll hand. I'll have this. I'll handle. I'll have this. I'll handle this. Okay. Uh, do we have anybody better at lockpicking? Mechanics. Uh. Okay. Wow. You guys all really kind of suck at mechanics, don't you? All right then. Uh, no. Everybody, get over here. I'll handle this. I'll handle this. Uh huh. Right. So basically, it wants me to go through that front door, which I kind of don't want to do. Just because the game wants me to go there, I really don't want to go that way. So, what we're going to do is quick save again. And then we're going to head up. Oop. Not so far, not so fast. We're going to go this way. Now what I should do is loop back to the start and then go in that other door before we cross the bridge there. But let's see what's on the other side of these stairs first. Ah, Zorps. Excellent. And a stone beetle. Uh, as soon as we kill this, we'll see exactly where we are. <coughs> and the correct answer is... Deerford Crossing. Interesting. Is the cave broken statue? All right. So, is there anything else here of interest, or is it just the statue? No. Although this seems to be a way across. Huh. Interesting. All right. So let's go back down the steps. We have another place to check out there. Up. Oh, I should have looted those bodies, but you know what's fine. It's just a, zort, a few Zort bits and whatever stone beetles drop. That is the one problem with this game is the loading screens are a fair bit longer than I like to see. All right. Uh, oh, that's that's a wall with an invisible door that doesn't work. All right. I guess we have to go back in the front door. Uh, post haste, if we please. Uh, we should, in fact. Uh, yeah, Woodland Trail's resting bonus. Alright, so. We're going to. Quick save. We're going to rest again. I really wish Kana would level up such that I could get him um, some more, or a resting bonus. Ah, and we're down to just our campfire bonus, so that's not necessarily a good thing. So, into this room, and let's go kill some cultists. As you approach the blood pool, the viscous liquid churns the bubbles. You feel essence rising to the surface, reaching out to you, whispering. <coughs> Someone should clean that up, says Adorf. Yeah. Some strange power seems to be animating blood. I'm going to hazard a guess that, and say that whatever it is, it isn't benevolent, says Eloth. Stating the completely obvious. Kana, grotesque masks and pools of blood. They aren't half-hearted in their madness, are they? He wrinkles his nose. <coughs> Sagani peers at the blood bubbling pool. This is the work of something foul. We should keep moving. I don't know that I want to extend my soul to the blood pool, but uh, let's retreat from it. You draw back. The souls recede and the blood settles. Uh huh. This man's arms are cut open from elbow to wrist. 
Blood congeals under the corpse of slash throat. And the corpse is bent forward as if watching her life's blood trickle away. Well, this is not creepy in the slightest. Uh, so, let's come over here. At ah, wrong button. Let's quick save again, and then we'll try talking to the pool. Extend my soul. The faint whispers resolve into a cacophony of, vo cacophony of voices. You imagine yourself surrounded by a hundred men and women. Their naked flesh is scourged and bloody, or skinned and covered with flies. Their eyes are missing, replaced by glittering black stones. The voices cry out in unison. What's this? Another soul come to rage and burn? Or merely to watch? You may be a long time in waiting. Our work today is already finished. Uh, what work? The pool itself begins to riffle with the sound of a dissonant chorus of perverse laughter that rakes at your ears. The lapping blood stirs a metal cage, half submerged in the center of the pool, and creaks lollies it rocks back and forth on a rusted pulley, as if in answer to your question. Who are you? B Skane, obviously. A woman's voice replies, Nobody's. Surfs and thralls and whores, used and thrown away. Almost all we had was taken from us, but what little, what little remained we gave here. They hover at your soul's edge, feeling you out. Our fury burned within us, unquenched and unfed. But hate can be fashioned into, into a weapon by those willing to pay the price. Another voice speaks. In life we were weak, but in death we made a choice. Choice carries power. <coughs> what kind uh, What kind of power? If you must ask, then you've never had need of revenge. It is a shame there is nothing in you we could use. The souls sink back into the pool. Okay. Well, that was 900 times, 900 kinds of creepy. Um. Sorry about that. I had to cough. Oop. There's some nasty traps in this place. Uh, Crypt Master's Key. Final Journal of Jonas. Okay. Yes, go away. Uh, Lockpicks. Skainite scripture. That uh, we've seen that before. This finally cabinet is finally crafted from a deep, rich wood. However, many of its shelves are broken from years of rough use. Okay. I am mildly annoyed that the shelves only turn blue if you've taken everything, even if you have no need of it. Ah, Skain Temple fanatic. Here, come have some sword. There we go. Next. More stabbing. Uh, Eloth, please don't waste all your power. And that temple sentry and the fanatic. Phonetic fanatic. Quiet. Nothing. Some lockpicks and some money. And for you. Garnets. Okay. Let me take that. Uh hang on. Is this a not yeah, that's what I want. Is this Aha! Crypt Master's key op unlocks the door. Excellent. And this one? Yeah. Yeah, let's get these open just in case we have to run from here. Alright, uh, let's all stack up here. We'll quick save again. I'm kind of annoyed that we've uh, had to. Oh, stop it. You are impressing no one with your electricity. Yes. Nice. Uh, you. Don't be a people. You suck at being a people. Kana, this guy, Follow your job. Uh, no, go up there and shoot at him, thank you. You. Give him a good seeing to, please. Excellent. Yes, let's uh, kill him quickly if we can. 
Ow, please stop shooting and killing me. I'm trying to kill my fox. Thank you. Yes, there we go. Alright, let's... Loot the gold. Leave the armor, because it sucks. Um, we actually need to do a little inventory management here. Uh, no. Over there, over there. Find saber. Lots of knives. Um, some more male armor. Polex, find spear. All that good stuff. Let's clear, f free up a little more inventory space. Yeah, wrong button. I want to have to highlight things. Crypt Master's key. Uh oh. Now we're having a conversation, which is not necessarily a good thing. Okay, who are you, monkeys? A large bull neck man in a hood helps a young elven woman down from a glass chamber connected to a dizzying array of cables and machinery. Her skin and clothing gl glisten with fresh blood. That's not you good. I feel a little lightheaded for the next hour or two, but that will pass. Have a meal and get some sleep when you return to town. Your transfusion. Okay, I think that's the girl we're in question. <laughs> the girl sobs into the back of her hand. The transfusion will be smoothest if you relax and rest. The implanted essence already has a hold on your mind, so fighting it will be useless. And I hope our new visitor does not complicate matters overly. <sighs> What's going on? Subversion. The black sheep cousin of justice. Or haven't you heard Lord Heron's tale of woe about a missing daughter and an impending marriage? He's sent his soldiers to scour the village while he bides his time at the Dracogen Inn. Yeah, that's why we're here. I don't expect you to understand what I'm doing. Neither the rituals of Scan nor the labors of Animancy meet with much approval in polite society. But unsightliness reminds polite society that there are limits. When no one pays attention to the excesses and debaucheries of a lord, you give them something they can't look away from. What are you talking about? Lord Heron's been telling everyone she's his daughter. He brought her all the way out here just to avoid anyone who might know differently. She's his niece, and she's carrying his child. Aha! Sagani's eyes are bright white orbs against her face paint. Her own kin? Her voice grows quiet. I know how I'd deal with that one. Hmm. Uh... Yeah. That's my that's my initial reaction, but uh Are you sure? It seems a bit far fetched. Easy to disbelieve. Easy to look away from something this ugly and question what you saw. And that's how he's gotten away with it so far. Hmm. Heron's own wife's delivered nothing but Hollowborn. Now he's got no heir, and his sister's child, Elise, is reaching the age to marry. Without progeny of his own, Heron's legacy would pass to her issue. So, he found a way to continue his own noble line. By putting his child in this girl, his own niece. And Animancy is part of your plan to destroy him. This isn't just about Heron to the girl. It's about the corrupting influences of power and wealth. How people of privilege, people like Heron, are so often insulated from the consequences of their actions. The charged essence of dozens of maltreated slaves and underlings is already taking root in her mind. Once it's established, it'll drive her to murder her uncle, her aunt, and anyone foolish enough to get in her way. People won't be able to look away from Heron's sins then. Uh, seems like a lot of trouble to go to when a simple lynch mob will do. They don't get a lot of things right, but this kind of thing they know what to do with. I do not wish to destroy Nestor Heron. I wish to end his entire rotten line. His name will become a curse among strangers. The deeds of his house will be eclipsed by his ruin. Foes will hear his name and shudder with pity. And any relatives who should survive him 
will abandon their fortunes just to rid themselves of the association. Please, don't do this, he says. No, it's it's useless. already done. The essence is at work in her mind. He dodges her forward. She hesitates, f only hesitates for a moment, seeming to rediscover her balance. She starts for the door, already drying her tears. What is any of this to you? Don't tell me you pity Heron. The girl was already his slave. Soon she'll be free of him, and the world will be a better place for it. Ugh. Well, neither of these are really good options. Oh boy. I hate games with tough moral choices. Actually, mostly I just want let her go ki kill these guys and then go, then go take out Heron myself. Ugh. Let her go. go. The plot. Yep. So. I don't necessarily know that that was the right thing to do, but ooh, Illaf leveled up. Awesome. Uh, let's get some more mechanics because apparently we kind of suck at this whole mechanics thing. Uh, dimensional shift. Uh. Hmm, that could be useful. I Iron skin. Uh, wizards have access to a variety of offensive and personal defensive spell defense spells. Unlike priests and druids, wizards wizard learn individual spells that they store and cast... Okay. Ah, right. Transients cast their skin to iron, adding significantly to their damage re reduction. Effect lasts for up to ten attacks. Eh. Con concussive missiles? Hello. Um, yes, please. Minor grim grimoire imprint. Huh. Steals three spells. Uh, minor arcane reflection. No, there was one. Hang on. Where was it? <coughs> uh, Ray of Fire? No. What I wanted was... There, there was one here that was... A big blast of cold damage, I thought. You know, you don't need to be... Ah, you know what? We'll use that. Because that will uh, stop the enemies from getting such good defenses. I'm, I'm thinking that we're actually tough enough now to take on the... Ooh, a uh, fine greatsword. That's, that's cool. Uh, is there anything else in here? An ornate chest decorates the sarcophagus. The name of the lid has been scratched out. Um. Hello. Aha! A lever. Hello. Indeed. Yes. So this is our door out, I believe. Uh. All right. So the exit is up this way, right? Yep. Up to the tanner shop. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Um, you too, Mac. Do you want to get over here? Thought I grabbed everybody, but I guess not. <clears throat> also, this line. Oh, this line. I just... <laughs> Haven't heard this line in forever, mm -hmm. and I'm kind of remembering why. <laughs> too, I'm too used to playing um, Skyrim or Fallout New Vegas. Alright, through the tenor shop. And now, here's the question. Do we have a cutscene, or do we have um, some have to go find things out? And more importantly, do we get a chance to kill Heron ourselves, or do we get back there to find that she's already done the murdering for us? Uh... To the inn. Post haste. 
Right. <clears throat> Let's see. Come on. This is a fun game, except for all the loading screens. Uh huh. Lord Heron. You had me worried <clears throat> sick, dear. What would I do if something happened to you? It's time Elise and I moved on. It will be good to reach the quiet of Ina's rest after all of this. Indeed. <clears throat> it's too late. Her, uh, her mind's been poisoned by a skeinite animancer. I'd love to stick an arrow in this one's gut and into Mackie's ag agrees with her. Is this your idea of a joke? What's this about? <laughs> I'm telling you f for her sake, not yours. Uh, Alice needs treatment. You know... Uh, uh, you know exactly what this is about. You, I assure you, I do not. But you may be right about one thing. I thought she was just exhausted after all her, all her misadventures, but... Back to Defiance Bay, then. Perhaps they'll know what to do in Brackenbury. I can only hope this won't complicate the preg her impending match. Indeed, my lord. <coughs> uh... Not so fast. If I'm going to forfeit the pleasure of burying a knife in your gut, I expect due compensation. His shoulders stiffen. I don't appreciate your crude manners, nor your foul insinuations. But take this and let us end this wretched business between us. Let's go quickly. Let's go, my dear. Quickly. And we get a bunch of gold. And I'm willing to bet that uh, he doesn't make it back. Before she decides to whack him. Celebrant's dirge at it. Ooh. Hello. Uh, reports 25% experience, celebrant's gloves, 500 to 1,000 copper and treasure. Since the end of Saints Ward, dear woodens have gathered at Evandwer Bridge to commemorate the sacrifice of a dozen of the dozen who gave their lives to defeat Saint Widewin. It has become customary for priests of Magrin leading the procession to sing a dirge to end the ceremony. This year, when the priest attempted to sing the dirge, his tongue swelled in his throat and he died painfully before the assembled crowd. When another priest attempted to sing the dirge a month later, he suffered the same fate. Some believe the gods are to blame for the priest's death. Others suspect vengeful reed sarens. Whoever's to blame, the priesthood of Magrin and soldiers of Godhammer Citadel want them brought to justice. Ah, if only Durance were were here, this would be the perfect quest for him. Uh, there you go. Grieving Mother can go and investigate. Right. <coughs> if I'd known that quest was going to be available, I definitely would have saved uh, Durance for it. Ah, we appear to have gone over time, but that's fine, because we completed our quest. Unless, of course, we step outside and find that Alice... No? Okay. Let's see. So, what I'm going to do is end the episode here, and head back to Cade Nua, and... Uh figure out where to go next. So, this has been Pillars of Eternity with Rise 2. I will see you guys next time. Bye.